don't even know what to say hey guys it's like 2 30 in the morning and we were like looking through youtube videos and we saw a bunch of comments like hey check out this spot um for the the kid who's missing gannon stotch he's 11 years old um and it's like super close to our house and he's been missing but this whole area is like undeveloped and just like really creepy there's like frozen creeks and stuff and like big holes in the ground everywhere not everywhere but just it's a creepy spot it's like really cold it's getting cold and it was like so warm today and now it's getting cold tonight and it's just like really crazy to think like if this kid's out here like what is going on so this was the area that people were suspect about on the drone footage there's kind of like a little frozen creek that flows through there and then um, this area near the tree over here that we zoom in on People thought it could be like a body. Um, people were really thinking the worst. So we live so close. We just had to get out there and see. So we ventured out there. Um, it was kind of late, so we didn't have a lot of um, visual clarity. But we were pretty thoroughly looking around. So this is Joseph looking around and Chris is filming. I'm lagging somewhere behind hearing voices. <laughs> and then we kept finding blue things. And every time that we would see something blue, we would get so freaked out. Because he was last seen wearing blue. Of course, animal bones. Which was just like ominous. Like this whole area was just very creepy. Us walking around, finding some more blue things. Oh, this was when we finally got to the area where we thought it was on the map. And it turned out to just be like a pile of sticks and logs. Um, so the whole community here in Fountain and Lurson Ranch is really coming together for Gannon. Everyone's been wearing blue, um, keeping him in their thoughts and prayers. Um, and just hoping for the best outcome possible.